This video will show you how to create multiple searches for your client. So for instance, if you want to demonstrate to your client the impact of them increasing or decreasing the deposit they have available, it may be that you want to run through different scenarios with them, or it may be that you want to create multiple searches to show uh, fixed rates over a two year period or a three year period or a five year period, etc. So having created one search for our client, which is quite basic, it may be that we want to retain this search, but go and change some facts and figures to show them the differences in another search. So to do this, I use my new search button down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen here. Now, this takes me back to my filter screens that we saw previously. So if I just wanted to show the impact of a deposit uh, being increased or decreased. So let's assume that my client may be able to get together another £15,000. So if we change that to 135,000 and now go back to our results, what the software has done is it's retained our original search of 120,000 deposit. And now it's creating a new search with the 135,000 pound deposit. Now you'll see that we've got multiple searches because we now have a new icon here called my searches that wasn't there before. And just to demonstrate this to you, if I click on my searches here, you'll see that we now have two searches available and you can see that the deposit has changed 120,000 in the first one and 135 in the, in the second one. If I want to go back to my first one, I simply click on the one that I want to display and I click back on my results screen. And this will show me that I'm looking at the first search that I carried out. If I then want to create another one, for instance, if I click on my new search and go back to my filters and for this one, I may decide that I want to only look at fixed products so I can switch off my other functions. Click on my results. Takes me back to my scheme list and I'll have three searches available now for my client. So if I go into my search button. I now have my 120,000 deposit, my 135,000 deposit, and now my 120,000 deposit, but just with fixed rates selected. So again, if this is the one that I want to use for my client, I select that by tapping or clicking on it and click on the results button. And I'm back in my scheme list again, ready to use this information for my client.